Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how to solve exponential and log equations. Before we do that, though, let's just review um, our log and exponential equation definitions and then some of our properties. So by definition, I can go back and forth between a log equation and an exponential equation. And so with these, if I go from log to exponential, we go base to equals, so b to the y power, and then it's going to equal whatever that big number is in that log function. Works opposite going the other way. <clears throat> we'll go base to equals, so log base b of x, and it equals whatever your exponent is. <clears throat> okay, so we can move back and forth between those two. And then for the record, those are equivalent equations, right? <clears throat> So we also have some log properties that we went over last lesson, and you do need to be familiar with them before you move on with this lesson. The first one is that we have log base b of b and it equals one. So if your base and your big number of that log are the same thing, then it's gonna equal one, because if I rewrote that, that would be b to the first power, that's gonna equal b. Okay, if we have, a one right here, it's always gonna equal zero because that would be b to the zero power does equal one. The only way you can get an, expo an exponent to equal one is if you have like one to a power or if you have anything to the zero power. This one we're gonna be using quite a bit. If you have log base b of m to the r power, you can take this exponent and you can move it in front and it becomes a factor or vice versa. If you have a factor right out in front of that log, you can move it up and it becomes m to the r power. Okay, so we'll be using this one quite a bit. These two are our inverse properties. And we're going to be using those quite a bit. I'm going to circle back to those and we're going to review them when we need them more in the lesson. We're going to start this lesson off with this property here and it does work both ways, but I'm going to focus more on this one first. If you have log base b of m equals log base b of n, then what you do is because those logs have the same base, you cancel them out and now you just have m equals n. Okay, we're going to end up using these two quite a bit as well, and they work both ways. If you have something being multiplied, you can expand it out, but more times than not, we're going to be here and we want to condense it. So if you have log base m of, or sorry, log base b of m plus log base b of n, because that is a plus sign, you can combine those and it's just log base b of those two things being multiplied. Opposite, if you have the same thing, but instead of them being added together, they're being subtracted, then you take the M and the N and you subtract them. Or sorry, you divide them. You divide them. And then you have the change of base formula. I don't know how much we're going to be using this today. But if you have log base B of M, that is the same as log M over log B, or the natural log of M over the natural log of B, or you can just put that in your calculator using math arrowing up. So that's just a little bit of a review of our definition of log and exponential functions and some of our log properties. <clears throat> 